Hi, I'm Doug Inkley, the National Wildlife Federation Senior Scientist. I know that like me, you are probably concerned about the impacts of the Gulf oil spill on wildlife. This map visually reconstructs the Gulf oil spill and the growing numbers of sea turtles found alive and dead during that time. No doubt, many impacted sea turtles were never found. While the actual cause of death has yet to be determined for most of the animals, it is clear that a large proportion of the deaths and the live captures were related to the oil spill. This is because the number of sea turtles collected was far beyond normal levels. More than 500 sea turtles were collected alive and a vast majority of those were visibly oiled. Of the more than 600 dead sea turtles, nearly 500 were Kemp's Ridley sea turtles, the most endangered sea turtle in the world. Because sea turtles usually take decades to mature and are endangered or threatened species, these impacts could last for decades. If you would like to learn more about our efforts in the Gulf and what you can do to get involved, please join us at nwf.org slash oilspill. Thank you.